Yo, 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 fly till I die cause I go so high cause I roll around and I'm out to the dark It's yo, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha Are you feeling me now? Do you see what I say? Cause I said it didn't make sense, did it make sense, did it make sense, did it Did it make sense, did it make sense, did it make sense, did it make sense, did it make sense No, but I'm fly until I die and you know that I gotta stay high I take that kush, I break it down, I roll it up, twist it around Like that L and spark it, blaze it, bout to get real hot, amazing Going round, it's going my way and you see me ever Every day, yeah, it's going my way, what? Cause it's going my way, it's going my way Every day, cause I'm up on the highway It's going my way, yes, it's going my way Because I'm on the platinum highway And it's going my way, yeah so I'm real, man, now I'm like I'm like, why does nigga even come out here, dog? He's like, damn, nigga, I hope you got enough for a tow truck <laughs> I'm like, man He's like, I'm gonna let Tweet wait here till the tow truck comes if you got enough money for a tow truck. Then he walks to the car like, skinny ass nigga. Then, then I'm bagging up, right? I hear him say, you know, your boyfriend can't drive. Man, I'm like, so I start just really just telling nigga that you just go home, man. I'm like, I'll walk to you home. Just take your ass home first. He was just being a hater, man. Damn, all the time he said, why y'all go to the one in the hood? Why y'all go to the one in the hood? Why y'all go to the one in the hood? Why y'all go to the one in the hood? Why y'all go to the one in the hood? But then they gonna say that like 50 times. No, that's true, nigga. <laughs> shit in the motherfucking hood, man. Why y'all go ain't to the one in the hood? Ain't shit in Detroit worth going to. And they kept telling me, why y'all kept going to the one in the hood? Why y'all kept going to the one in the hood? That's a good question. Why did you go to the one in the hood? Because I said, all right. I'm trying to save money because I'm trying to get my. Fuck, you trying to save money, but you'll take out to eat and go I'm trying to get my. Nick, did you. <laughs> you burn the same amount of gas. You might as well just went ahead to the other side of 8 Mile, up there to 9 and whatever, and be like, hey, bitch, get now your this, ass in the now, car. Now, this month, I got to pay my cell phone bill, my house phone bill, and the water bill, and fill up my gas tank, and I got to have food to eat. Okay, I got to buy food, house note, lights, gas, water. My sale, my girl sale, and whatever other expenditure I need that money. You ain't the only one struggling, and you make more than me. Well, this check, this check is basically gonna just put me back to zero. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm saying? Join the motherfucking club. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It's a mercenary. I come out, dog, right? The first thing. I sympathize with you, but I'm still doing worse than you. The so. first thing I come out, right? <laughs> I'm coming off the movie theater, like. I already got this funny feeling in my stomach, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And, uh, alright, you know, usually I don't. I think I said, like, usually I don't lock my bar, right? I lock my bar, and I'm like, dog. Lock my bar and shit. And I come out, I'm like. Man, Funny ass taste in my mouth and shit. Come out car like this, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, it's <laughs> like, dog, fuck you on my whip, dog. Hold on, I might make like that smart trying to break my whip. So I walk the other way. Tweet like, what's wrong? Tweet was like, oh, what's wrong with your car? I'm like, oh, shit, bitch, shit. Say so, yeah. Hey, James, man, this is the last time I'm coming down here until, like, around Thanksgiving, <laughs> man. Because that's where I'm going to have a hard-ass time getting back home.
you know, Demario, Demario, the motherfucker was like, what you want, nigga? <laughs> nah, that's me. I go off on fucking. Stop stalking. I see DJ just sitting there quiet as hell, like, here. <laughs> Look at my damn ID. Look <laughs> at <laughs> my damn registration. <laughs> yup. Going home. Do I was going home. <laughs> Crazy. And then when you walk away, they walk away from the car like I was going home till you stop me, bitch. <laughs> Damn, get your shit straight. <laughs> but then the cop will come back like, no, you need to get your shit straight. This car is stolen. So we ain't I got no record of your plates. We have no record of your plates. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of surprised though. The Detroit police ain't like, you ain't got no record. This is, I don't know what the fuck. Man. That's the Detroit police got better things to do. Like man, am I really gonna waste my time with that? Hell no, the hoes get out of the club in about five minutes. Nigga, let go, nigga. What the fuck is waiting on then? They showed dude. We still got time to make free before eleven at Cheetahs. Like, oh shit, nigga, let's go then, nigga. Oh, dude, let's roll, dude. Nigga, let's matter of fact, turn the siren on, nigga. Beep. Yeah. Nigga, gotta make up for these lights, nigga. Damn. Hey, cheetahs, nigga. Let's get a good park spot, nigga. That's what was odd, nigga. It was police activity on what? What's that? McNichols? Mm -hmm. Or Finkel? Six Mile. Finkel. He was like, I'm a boy. It was Finkel. Yeah, it was fine. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna turn past that. I ain't gonna go what? past that. Yeah. What the fuck happened? And them motherfuckers tracked me down from that, that crime scene. <laughs> All the way back, cause he did come out like where the police activity was going on. He came out from like up that street or whatever. Yeah. Came out like, man. I'm like, I'm like, he waiting for you? <laughs> man, I was like, man, cause on this nigga, man, man, fuck this. Next time, I'ma just plan to avoid police all together. I'ma make turns all out the way. That's what I be doing. I roll past that motherfucker. He stuck to me like a magnet. I was like, what the? I know he. <sighs> Man. This fancy nigga. Damn, police be hating, man. They, like he said, they never know. I don't know. If, I think Mario O.U. said they never know when you need him, though. Man, when they were never there. my tires and shit, nigga. Out there stopping me. I just told you what I did Friday night. Hey. Police ride by, like, man. Or you just told you. Oh, they don't see a bunch of suspicious people with knives or something in their hands or whatever. Right, man. Damn. And that's what's fucked up. All them times I got caught when I was walking, man. I'm all by myself and shit. And all these motherfuckers walking in gangs and crews and shit. They never get stuck. Like, God damn. You would think I had some type of leeway. They said, nah, fuck that. You a bigger target. No witnesses, nigga. Ain't that a motherfucker. Now that's two times I need the police name was there. They never be there when something detrimental happens. They always there just to fuck up your day. And when your day already fucked up, they say leave them. Leave them the water when that shit. I ain't see this nigga at all, dog. This nigga came up. Say this the cart. This nigga popped up like. Hey, James, what's up, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey man, I was looking for some bottles, nigga. <laughs> like, there ain't no fucking bottles in these carts. <laughs> so, uh, he's like, hey man, he's like, man, be <laughs> hey man. <laughs> so when he walking away, he's like, hey man, be careful, man, be careful. So I guess I was like, God, I'm trying to warn you, so I don't know. So, yeah. That was crazy. Then come to find out, well, really, I'm going to have to buy some new tires anyway, because I think I told you, I said, when I was taking off the tire, I need a wheel alignment so bad, it seemed like it's grazing my tires or something grazing them. I don't know, something. I don't know if it's my brake doing it or whatever, but. Nah, it wouldn't be having nothing to do with wheel alignment. That's something else. I don't know, but it's grazing. The sun is stringing up my tires or some shit. Get your ass in! Ooh, I'm telling! There you go. Oh, neither, yes, neither sir. Now, nigga. Nigga, police motherfucking breath smelled like throw up and breast milk. <laughs> shit was horrible, nigga. Shit was worse than that. I'm like, damn, I just think I'm wrestling. This is the segment of the DVD where we say, Fuck the police. Oh,
Fuck the motherfucking police. Not me. I love the police, nigga. <laughs> police is my best friend, nigga. Me and the police, nigga. Fuck I the police. Fuck troops, nigga. Mother the police. Fuck the police. I send the police. police can I send burn the in hell. Money, police, y'all get the fuck the out of my life nigga. and stop fucking me with and me. The police fucking like this, whole ass nigga. police. You know what Little I'm dick. Shrimp bastards. Fucking with the wrong nigga around this motherfucker. Fuck your motherfucker. Can you, can you see this? Is you seeing it clearly? I don't think you see it clear enough. <laughs> Fuck you. Not me. Well, uh, my name is uh, Chuck. My name is Chuck, uh, Chuck Kropowski. And uh, I, yeah, play, I love the police. I play guitar in my bathroom. Me and Chuck Pukowski, I love the police, man. You know, because, yeah, I don't know, dude. You know, these guys, you know, ever since they took sex symbol from me, you know, they all been running around like, man, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Well, look, bitch, I don't fucking know, okay? I don't fucking know, Man, I'm all right? Just, I'm Leave good. me alone. Just let me make my freaking music. Let me live my freaking life, okay? Freaking police officers are always freaking me. You freaking pulling me over and shit. Walking down the street, you pull me over with fucking sirens and you beep, beep. You pull me over. I don't like that shit, okay? I'm a respectable citizen now. Okay, I'm not doing anything wrong anymore besides maybe selling a little crack on the top. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Because drugs are good, okay? Not bad, okay? They're good. Drugs are very, very good, okay? They help the community. They serve the politicians. And it's going to be the Everything. precinct. Vote up. And Kwame it's gonna Kilpatrick. Be, and it's gonna be the Kwame precinct. Kilpatrick is my friend. I'm voting Kwame Kilpatrick back in office. Kilpatrick has Kilpatrick. got just about as much swagger as the young Coleman Young back in the 80s when he had his fucking account over in South Africa. So I was talking. It was me, Kowski. And I was talking to this guy when I was locked up. It was one of the police guys. You know, I like that motherfucker, you know? Talking to him, his name was Deputy Willie. Deputy Willie used to talk something like this. He said, look, okay, Rice, I don't know what the fuck is going on. All I know is, I see a candy bar in your hand. And you better not have no damn commissary in the day room. Because there's no commissary in the day room, okay? You have commissary in the day room, we'll send you to the hole. Alright? I right, ain't fuck you, you dick riding ass. Booty fucking motherfucking, I look like the cop from Super Troopers ass nigga. And I bit my candy bar. You know what that bitch did? He said, alright Bryce, you wanna play hardball? We gonna send you to the hole. How you like it now? And I don't believe in sending you to the hole for one day, so I'm gonna send you for 48 hours. How about that? Like nigga, fuck you nigga. Bit my candy bar again. He said, nah, it's gonna be two more days. How you like it now? You know, I was like, damn, it's gonna be four days in the dark. I don't, I don't even know how to fuck with that. So, you know, of course, I put the candy bar down. My point was proven. Nigga, fuck them niggas. Can't take that shit. Fuck them. Now, I kill them motherfuckers. Now, I do it again. Do I look like the kind of motherfucker that gives a fuck about killing the police? Do I? Do I really look like the kind of motherfucker that really gives a fuck? Do police I... fucking with me. Nigga, fuck the police. <laughs> okay, they always fucking with me. Okay? I just don't see what Motherfucking it. police took my car for no goddamn reason. <laughs> Shit wasn't even there for two days. Sure did. Yeah, that was yeah, quick as hell to take it. <laughs> yeah, they sure did, dog. They sure did, dog. Man, they made sure. I done seen the same busted ass cab <laughs> <laughs> sitting in front of my house for three fucking weeks, dog. My car yeah. didn't sit in the parking lot for two days. No, two. Not even One, two. It wasn't even two days. Mm -mm. It was what? It broke down on what was that? A Saturday night? Oh, Monday. Mm -hmm. It was a Saturday night. Monday morning, it was gone. Monday morning, that bitch was gone. Hey, why condom so hot, man? I'm I don't crazy. know. I don't wear them. Shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't use them. It's like they want us to hot babies, man. I don't wear them. It just went up, man. <laughs> Condoms ain't just going well, but you know why condoms went up, right? Because oil prices went up. Oil oh, is oh. the key component of everything. What's the main What's the main ingredient in rubber? Petroleum. Petroleum is the main ingredient in rubber, and that's that's the raw fuel. That's the raw form of natural gas. So therefore, with the barrels going up, everything will go up. Just like milk will go up, because they use gasoline at the little refineries and shit. And then plus, the truckers and shit gotta bring all that shit to the dairy cases and all that shit and all your local neighborhood supermarkets that's gonna raise the price clothes gonna go up cause you need fuel to use the transport but I have one question shit. what do all that have to do with the police fucking with me even more because now they pay gonna get cut 
because they got to fill up their tank so goddamn much and the gas prices is higher. And that's on the city budget. So for the city to cut the fat, they trim and pay. Everybody except for my mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick. That's my man. I'm voting for Kilpatrick. What are you doing? I think I'm going to have to gut punch a police officer. Yeah, that's why you're going to be in jail. And I'm going to come over to take the computer, take the burner, they mm -hmm. take the mic, take everything. Now, I'm like, I left some stuff over here. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, I left some stuff over here. I got to get it. They all be swiping every goddamn thing. Nigga, give me this shit. You don't need this shit. You know, PlayStation 2. You ain't need this shit. Nigga, when you come out, nigga, PlayStation 15 going to be out. Nigga, give me this shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know assaulting the cop is 11 years. Assaulting the cop is 11 years, automatic. Then if you hit him with a weapon or something, that's another five, six years. They be on that bullshit, man. You go do life, pretty much. You go do life. You go go in all youthful and vibrant, and you go get out depleted and bombed out, just like Iraq. You go get out like, bro. Hey, you know it's just all this money fixing up Iraq? But the United States just fucked up. They'll be like, the new Iraq. The new Iraq is gonna be so great. We over here starving. Hey, you know Iraq got a Victoria's Secret now. Alright, got a Victoria's Seat, a McDonald's. Them niggas actually have a McDonald's now. They almost like normal people. They actually have a McDonald's. Now they gonna get to be fatter in terrors. Now they gonna be fat terrors. At least we can catch them motherfuckers now. You know what I'm saying? They can't hide in holes and shit. They gonna be fat. Oh, McDonald's gonna make a lot of money. See, that's America. That should be America's goal. Make them niggas McDonald's fat as hell. McDonald's gonna take over the world. Why? Make them niggas Ronald fat as hell. McDonald's take okay? over the world. Because look, if you notice, the more fast food restaurants come, the fatter our children get. So, my solution for Iraq would be stop terrorism, make them bitches fatter. Can't hide and they can't run and shit. They fat as hell. You go load them with you fast go food restaurants. Right, you go notice they a 24 big, hour Coney Islands. And right, you go notice a big fat ass Woo! Albanian nigga with a turban on his head getting on your plane. Woo! You might not notice our poop because he walked by. You know, you might not Woo! notice that nigga. He walked by. You might just glance by. You're like, damn, he might be a terrorist. When you see that nigga, you like, oh, that nigga's a terrorist. He just came over here from Iraq. <laughs> that motherfucker right there. Watch him. Watch that fat motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. And me, as I would run for president. 2027. Vote for me. Ooh, I like the way that helicopter's stalking. You know you can't just. Oh, I'm just about to steal that mud. Dog. You no, know you can't just jump up and be a president. You gotta be what, like a governor first. Go through the motions. Yeah, fuck all that. <laughs> fuck all that. Okay. I'm not It's gonna take a lot of assassinations to do that. No, what the fuck was that? Oh, fuck all that. You know my campaign speech. I'm not Bush. Cause you couldn't do a worse, you couldn't do a worse job than Bush. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. All I had to say is he was elected twice. That's no mistake. Shit. Once could People be. People are afraid to shift power in wartime. Shit. People are naturally afraid to shift power. What in you're wartime. saying is that people are pussies. Yeah, pretty much. Man, I Especially if people in mass, they say it's strength in numbers, but actually they just make you easier to sway. Because if the group is going with something, you just go go with it too, because everybody else is doing it. Because you don't want to be the high man out. So you're like, well, fuck it. And that's why, that's why there's quote unquote strength in numbers. It's actually just a bunch of sheep that's looking for a shepherd. So you pick the most incompetent motherfucker you can to make yourself look even worse to the world. You'd have been better off having Krusty the Clown as goddamn president. <laughs> you been hey, hey! You'd have been better off with Krusty the Clown, man. Anybody but Bush. Kilpatrick would have been a better president than that. That's what I'm saying. He'd be partying, but we wouldn't be going to war and shit. shit. I'm voting for Kilpatrick. Fuck the bullshit, nigga. If Kilpatrick run for president, he getting my vote at least four or five times because I'm registering a couple counties, nigga. Like, shit. Cha -choo, cha -choo, cha -choo. Kilpatrick, Kilpatrick, Kilpatrick. You <laughs> party for real, then. Hell yeah. yeah. You think his earring big? Nah. Oh, nigga. <laughs> you think his earring big? Oh, nah, nigga. nigga. His earring gonna take up his whole ear. And he gonna be doing the Charlie Murphy shake, nigga. Hey, what's his, what's his wife name? Kilpatrick. He gonna be taking, he be taking the leader. Page. It's time for his press conference. He gonna be like, yeah. It's Kilpatrick. <laughs> my chief of staff, P. Diddy. <laughs> P. Diddy gonna be over there like, uh huh. We can't stop. We won't stop. Come on out here, Mr. Bentley. We won't stop. Hey, Bentley gonna be like, Bentley gonna be like, Bentley gonna be like, my chief of security, Mr. Bentley Farnsworth. Right. <laughs> 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 he like, yes. 
the gentlemen are in the gentlemen's club. We're on a terror threat of orange. We're going around and we're watching out. Terrorists around, watch out. My yeah, Supreme right. Court Justice Andre 3000. Ow! Thank you, Lord. Throwing some style. Bones in my body. Let me tell you why. I think that's what I'm need. I, I'm, I think I'm missing a little Andre 3000 in my life. I need if to listen to so, his music. I'm too, too bad. Cassandra Day O'Connor is an old ass hag. Glad to meet you. My name is Dre. But you can call me Supreme Court Justice Chief Andre Benjamin for short. And no. I'm not voting Wade against Roe, but I will keep them gay niggas from getting married. Damn, man. This feel like a time I should be chilling with Andre 3000, man. Right. Like, man, fuck this bullshit, nigga. I need to get away. Yeah, you know Big Boy got his own label now? Purple Ribbon? Uh-huh. Basically, all it is is the niggas from the Dungeon family except for Andre 3000. It's everybody except for Andre 3000. It's Bubba Sparks, uh-huh. CeeLo. What happened to that, um... That Purple other Ribbon. one he got, like, Boom Boom? I don't know. He got some some type of thing uh, that was on. Purple Ribbon is like Purple Ribbon is his 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 new company slash his new clique. It's Purple Ribbon. Uh, that so it's like, it's like it's like it's the oh, dungeon. Yeah. You remember the Dungeon Family, right? Yeah. You remember the Dungeon Family, CeeLo, Big Gip. Yeah, yeah, I remember. That. Basically, the Goody Mob, but now we got Killer Mike, Bubba Sparks, um, a couple other cats from Atlanta. Uh, who else in Purple Ribbon? Uh, damn, what's that nigga name? Uh, all I know was Bubba Sparks and all the people you just mentioned. Man, there's a few other cats though. But I know he. I get a lot of that crap from BMG. But he had that much money. A lot of that crap from BMG so, music. He had enough money to start his own. I didn't even support his stuff. Man, James, you ain't everybody, man. man Unless you voted for Bush too. Right. You ain't everybody. Right. Outcast. Outcast been making millions, man. Outcast been selling at least. Five million records every album since Southern Playlist. Playlist Cadillac fucking music. Since then. No one think to miss that. Since then, they've been selling at least five million records an album. And you said they came out with six albums, a greatest hits album, then that little split solo project. So they've been making real. Shit, it's I'm just not- Andre 3000 took his money and went over here with it. Big Boy took his money and invested it and flipped it and took it over here. Yeah. That's the only difference. 3,000 like doing the movies now. Mm-hmm. Just like he just going to make more money. 100,000 just going to make more money. I heard for that, uh, for the, for, uh, what was that, the Four Brothers, he got, uh, I think it was $25 million for Four Brothers. Mm-hmm. He, for the movie that he, he about to do again, too. for the movie he about to do this time, it's coming out in a few months, I think it's coming out in November or something like that, he getting paid like $32 million. So he getting bread. You know what I'm saying? That nigga getting bread on top of bread. Nigga like, fuck right, nigga. All right. Plus, he's still a producer. He produced like half of Gwen Stefani's album. Yeah, that white bitch. Hell yeah, she just redid that Isley Brothers track. Right, right. That Isley Brothers track sweet as hell. You no, know, as soon as you said Isley Brothers, it's a hit. That's just sweet as hell. Nigga, I'm like, damn, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Brown, 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 brown. And that's the one she did too. She did that between the sheets. Boom, boom. Did that between the sheets. Now I can just sit here and just dream. Like, well, oh, it's a nice plane in there. One day I do something that's spectacular. One day. One day where everybody's just proud. Like, man, I know that nigga. One day. Crossroads, nigga. Monday. Yeah, this plane packing, nigga. This uh, shit got two separate weapons, three separate. It's alright. It ain't. Oh, ain't shit. no between the sheets. Ain't big. no between the sheets. Niggas want big. It's alright though. Niggas want big. Tell me, you trying to compete with a live band and a singer? Oh, that's different though. I'm talking about just the remake. Like that between the sheets, like what she did. Uh, I think I'll be happy once I get some shit on the radio. I guess. Even then, you won't be happy. If you ain't happy now, you ain't never gonna be happy. Like, I ain't happy now, but when I get famous, I'm gonna be happy now. You're gonna when be worse. When I get famous and I make no money, you're gonna be worse. Famous, when I make millions of dollars, then I'll be happy. Yeah, you'll be worse. You'll be paying all that money to psychiatrists and stuff. Nah. Uh, 
Like a, like like what did what did James say? What he say? Money don't bring happiness. But I come real I close. I come real close. close while I'm being real rich. All right. Yeah. I come real damn close, boy. Well, I'm being yeah. real rich. I come pretty damn close. I don't think I get there, but shit, nigga. If I had a few hundred thousand dollars, I'd be happy. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know about I ain't even gonna lie. Cause you know what? Cause I remember how happy I was when I made my first sale for 10 grand. Man, thought I was on top of the world, nigga. I was like, whatever, nigga. Like Leonardo DiCaprio on Titanic, nigga. Like, I'm flying, I'm flying. Damn. Nigga, so picture me with a couple hundred grand, nigga. I'd be running around this bitch naked with a hundred dollar bill covering my dick. Like, I'm free, bitch. I'm free. <laughs> I would. Man, invest that bread. If I had five hundred thousand dollars, hey, that helicopter still up. With half a million dollars, I'll take a hundred grand, put it in the stock market, take another hundred grand, and put it in a bank account that I can't touch, and just feed off the interest. There you go. Then, with the other three hundred, I'll probably. Damn, and that is a bitch. How people be having those millions or billions, and then the entrance be like millions and shit. Yeah. Nick, you slap me your interest, Nick, for one month. Slap me that motherfucking interest. Right. God damn. Then, that's a lot of money. <laughs> then, so I have 300 grand left. I'll probably buy a couple cars. Well, that's up to I'll probably buy uncle. two cars. I only want two cars. That's, that's how it happened to my uncle. He had like, he owned one house. He put all the rent money just in the bank. And he just got rich off the interest. Now he owned like a couple houses. Anyway, that's only want two cars. You don't hear no dogs. What's wrong? Detroit, man. 313. You know, I ain't in certain mind no more, but you know, it's the mom. Only one. Two cars, man. Yeah. Two cars. Then take care of whatever my grandmother need. You know what I'm saying? Then invest some red on my niece and nephew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want Basically, all I want to do, for sure, for sure. but really, all I want to do is set up a college account for my niece and nephew. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they tight as hell. You know what I'm saying? When they get older, they ain't got to worry about shit. Just go to school, get their grades together, and shit. College already be paid for. Yeah. I had to worry about police fucking with them. Right. Oh, you know police, damn. And with the rest of the money, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I say I spend at least fifty grand on clothes. I ain't even gonna lie. That sound materialistic and everything, but it's styles true. Go out, no, I ain't even about the styles going out. It's about the fact that my weight shifts so much that I'm gonna have to buy some skinny clothes, some back clothes, some obese clothes. You know what I'm saying? Then I gotta buy jewelry and all that shit. So I'm gonna spend at least fifty thousand dollars on clothes. You know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta count jewelry, shoes, and I wouldn't even need them. Yeah, and hats, all that shit. I'ma just so, buy a whole bunch of cereal, a whole bunch of hot pockets, and just chill, nigga. All day just playing video games and making music, nigga. I wouldn't even need all that cars, nigga. I keep the same whips out there, I just get them hooked up. And I just chill, nigga. Must be nice. And I just nice. Not me. I'll be on my way back to work. Still working at McDonald's. You hundred grand in my pocket, still working at McDonald's, nigga. Like, nigga, I buy value, sir. That double cheeseburger was without pickles, wasn't it? Yep. It depends on how famous. Even if you was famous, I mean, shit. It, it all right. It depends on what comes with that money, like fame. Like if you get famous with it, then people gonna know who you are. I still work at a McDonald's, nigga. They be like, that's a McDonald's as you work at. I wanna eat at the McDonald's as you work at. Yeah, bitch, get a floor burger. <laughs> Yeah. Get a floor burger, bitch. But at the same time, it attracts good and bad. All right, they're going to want to see you this and that. Then you got the haters. The jackers. And the police. They're going like, to jack this nigga. As soon as he come out of McDonald's, we're going to jack this nigga. Yeah, I'm coming right. out of McDonald's. Got to think about all that, too. Yeah, that's true. Because when you that. really, when you're famous, it's, it's bad to have a set place. Like, they're going to know you're going to. You got to, like, pop in and out of places. No, well, fuck that, man. When I get famous, I'm Same. working at McDonald's. Same. Fuck no. that. I might as well draw that digital crosshairs on you right now, do the John Madden. So they're going to shoot him right here. <laughs> I was looking yeah. at a double cheeseburger the other day. That's right. And I thought about SG, because SG works at McDonald's. If I was a hater, I'd say, boom, right at his job. Heart attack. Uh. Right. Quarter pound of cheese was good. <laughs> 
somebody pulled through the drive through like, that's he's still it? back. He's still back there. there like, right. yeah, damn, why you told him I'm back here? Now they waiting on me. Right. That one damn whip. Thing, you fucking hoe. See, see that one whip sitting out there waiting on the dick. Like, mm-hmm. Hey, I wouldn't even lie. The whips I would buy. I'll say, I'll say the whips I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy uh, 96 Suburban. That's my dream car. And the 96 Impala. That's it. It's the only two cars I want. Both of them cars is under 10 grand. The only two cars I want. So I'm gonna spend about $30,000 on cars. Because you say, after I get, I ain't gonna get no rims, but after I get my tents, I get my legal tents, prescriptions and shit for my tents, and I get my bulletproof paneling. Other than that, that's about it. But I'm definitely get my bulletproof panel. And then, if I got a girl, whoever my girl is at that point, get bulletproof panel on her shit. That point. Get bulletproof panel yeah. on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't be living a fairy tale and say I'm gonna be with uh, so and so and so and so. Right. Time will tell. Have to take right. Tierra from you. Like yeah. bastard. Yeah, 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 I might borrow Tierra. Nah, probably not. But, uh. It's like I probably might. I mean, I'm hopeful that me and Janae make it and everything, you know? It ain't looking too good. It's not that it's not looking too good. Sounds is just, okay. Just you never know. It's That's just you true. never know. Anything can happen between now and forever. You know what I'm saying? So. You're optimistic, but you ain't too happy about it. Right. You're like, well, I got a lot I'm of I'm optimistic, guns. but I'm still not unrealistic. You know what I'm saying? I'm optimistic, but I'm realistic. Put it like I got that. a lot of guns, but shit, I can only use two at the same time. Right. It's like you got a lot of bullets, but you can still get shot. Just like you can wear a bulletproof vest and get shot in the neck. So, yeah, right. Right. Shit happens, man. Shit happens. Oh, they shoot those famous hey, hollow points. Now get back to Chinese well, if you wear the steel plates under your um, hollow points can't go through that. Mm-mm. If you wear the steel plates inside of your pockets, if like if you get the least issue Kevlar's, they come with added padding number one. So it's like. Your chest be out to here. That's why all the police officers look big as hell. Because they got them big ass motherfucking vests on. Your vests come out to here. Plus, in your breast pocket, it's a plate right there. It's a steel plate spout. Buy this. I got that CD in my pocket. About the size of a CD. It's about as thick as a CD. About as thick as that CD. And it just go inside of that. It's one going east side. Then it's one that go over your abdomen. That slide in. You know what I'm saying? Some people keep cigarettes in their breastplate pocket. Hood niggas do anyway. Hood niggas keep cigarettes in their breastplate. You know what I'm saying? But that breastplate is there to stop hollow points. That's an invention that they just came out with around the same time they came out with hollow points. It's like, yeah, we gonna give you the potential to go through a vest, but we gonna also give you the ability to stop that shit. Yeah, we gonna give you a, a disease with a cure. Right. Pretty much. But that shit don't matter, cause if a nigga is wearing a vest, I'm just gonna shoot him in his knees, make him fall, and shoot him in his face. Fuck is the point of the vest? Of course, the first target is always aiming for the head. All right. You gotta protect your neck, like Wu Tang. Well, most that. niggas, most niggas, the reason why they wear vests, cause most niggas in the hood can't shoot. So they gonna go for the biggest target on your body, and your midsection is your biggest target, cause everything else is moving around. So you gonna try and hit that midsection, like, bah, bah. You gonna try and blaze that midsection up with that Kevlar there. You just feel that little impact. But Kevlar's don't really help. Yeah, listen to them dogs out there. Hmm. James feed them James dogs. James feed them dogs. Yeah, they kind of something else. Yeah, nigga, they hungry. They like, nigga, food. Food. Feed me, nigga. The little one down there like, feed me, nigga. Food. That one used to Whoa, where that come from? Anyway, man. It's like this. Helicopter just dropped out the sky, dude. You see that shit? They say the more money you make, the more problems you get. I don't believe that. You damn right. You know why I say I don't believe that, man? Because I ain't Because I'm living in hell right now. (laughs) I'm living in hell while I'm broke. You rich with love. (laughs) Nigga, fuck that. This is what I think about love right here. That's about what I think about love. Because love is a four letter word like fuck and shit. So, you know what I say? Fuck that shit. Anyway. But that's only three syllables. Man, you gotta work hard for the little 
You gotta work hard for those. See, there you go, that, that optimistic bullshit. I don't believe in optimism no more. I'm not optimistic. I'm a realist. I believe in reality. Some people reality of like the fact is, the cruise missile. You got motherfuckers that was just Woo! born to have everything Look go their way. Like everything is supposed to work out in the end for them motherfuckers. Let's watch this then you got thousand. motherfuckers over here and this group over here. That's just like, yeah, by all intents and purposes, your shit's supposed to be tight. But for some reason, it's fucked up. That's the group I'm in over here. By all intents and purposes, nigga, your shit's supposed to be tight, nigga. Well, nigga, your shit fucked up, though. I don't know what the fuck wrong with that shit. It's like a nigga with, with some brand new shoes with a hole in the bottom. Like, damn, nigga, you just pulled them bitches out the box. You know, bitch supposed to be crispy as hell. Look at the bottom. It's water getting in the bitches. He's a crispy. Yo, yeah. shit supposed to be crispy as hell. Nigga, look at the bottom though. Why you water getting in your shoes, man? What the fuck? That shit fucked up. Nigga, you need to take them bitches back. I, mean, I wish I could take my life back. I need to return this shit. I mean, give me a new one, nigga. This shit ain't working out. Give me a new one and I'll pay the difference. Fuck that. Y'all want to hear something really bad that I really think? I think Pretty soon. Cause I was looking at them see this like, man, we had more hurricanes this year than we did for three years put together on I'm like, damn. You fucking glad the world go in, nigga. Shit, nigga, not me, nigga. Shit, I can't wait to hurry up and get my mark of the beast and get this shit over. Yeah, yeah, nigga, nigga, when the world in. Nigga, when the beast pop up, nigga, I'm jumping right on this team, nigga. Like, what up, dog, nigga? Jump right on oh, the nigga mean, back. Me, you mean to tell me you gonna give me some money? Oh, what's up, nigga? Tell Nigga, like Shit, I you said, ain't saying nothing but a word, man. Like I said, I love the Lord, but green paper is what I trust. Cause oh, that's oh. One constant. But at the so same man. time, that money won't even make any difference. Currency ain't gonna be shit. Look, look, okay? It's gonna be one constant from here until the world end. You will always need money or some type of payment. It's been that way since the beginning of time. I'll say some kind of good trade off, but uh, I don't think trades gonna come back. I think it's gonna be just if like. If we trade money? I don't, think it's gonna be, I don't think it's going to be Money is the biggest trade right now right, I don't think it's going to be money I think I don't think it's going to necessarily be a currency I think it's going to Everything going to move over to chips Like you got them little cards Everything going to move over to chips It's going to all be electronic But it's Man, still going to require It's too many, still require money Too many What's them Glitches and Shit fucking up still It was supposed to take money. my debit I feel you, but it's still going to require money shit. is what I'm saying. You know, it's still going to require some Talk form about of shit payment. not authorized. How are you going to tell me it's not authorized? I'll slap a computer down. Like, what you talking about? <laughs> it's going to still require some form of payment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you come, you like, I got this apple juice. And then you be like, oh, well, damn, what you want for it? Throw the like, back of your hand. Yeah, yeah, uh, like, yeah, damn, yeah, what yeah, you want for it? about the mark of the beast. All right, nigga, well, give me, um, you know, give me your, mm, give me two toothbrushes. It's still some form of payment. Payment will always be a constant. Money is always a constant. Even back in the days when they gave you cattle. Like I give you cattle into my first year's harvest for blah blah blah. It's always gonna be the same. It's always gonna be the same. Except this time instead of it being cattle, it's this piece of paper which is a promise. And if you do your research, that dollar is supposed to be one pound of gold. Every dollar is supposed to be one pound of gold. That was the original purpose of having that money. Because it was too much to be walking around with one pound bars. Uh, ain't that you a went. son of a bitch? That's right. That was the constant so far. Everywhere you went. I forgot about that. America only got as much money as the gold supply. Yep. That's all it was. So it was like, for all them Federal Reserve notes, that's why I say, in God we trust. I'm trusting the fact that this dollar is actually in the reserve. This pound of gold is actually in there. Find out that's why it's a Federal Reserve note. It's a promissory note. That's all it is, a promissory note. Like, I promise to give you the gold for this dollar. It's sitting right there in that bank, right there in that reserve. And I'm going to give it to you. Here you go. See this? This is 10 pounds of gold right here that I'm about to give you right now. I'm going to give you 10 pounds of gold. And all you got to do is go to the reserve and claim it. Anthony Crazy, right Here you go. I promise. You can have this 10, do- 10 pounds of gold. You go to that reserve, nigga, give me my goddamn money, nigga, can't have my gold, can't have my gold, nigga. He sounds just like one of them kings back in the day. Can't have my gold, nigga, nigga, these pounds here, nigga, look like I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to pack on the pounds. Get your weight up, nigga. 
We all know that's not the right path. Get your weight up. That's how I say. Get your weight up. Nick, matter of fact, Nick, play my song, Nick. Get your bread up. Nick, play my song. Hmm, calling out the jesters. Oh, shit, I gotta get the area, Nick. Play my song, Nick. You know what a jester is? Yeah, court entertainment, Nick. Nick, I do my research, Nick. Just because I act ignorant don't mean I'm ignorant, Nick. Edumacation. Not edumacation, Nick. I am a highly educated young man, okay? Graduated from Rochester High School, 3.9, all right? Pretty smart. Actually, it wasn't a 3.9. It was only a 3.85. Man, you were supposed to do that little fake-ass white boy. Like, it was only a 3.85, but, you know, would have been a 3.9, but there was this whole mix-up going on in the art room and everything. And I don't want to talk about that. But, graduated with honors. Valedictorian. Wasn't valedictorian. I just graduated with honors. Pretty good. Uh, Had life on my palms. You know what I decided to do? That's right, sell drugs. Yo, yo. You know what that did for me? You looking at nothing. Sitting here talking to a goddamn camera with twenty fucking dollars in my pocket. What kind of shit is this? At least you got twenty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm jealous, nigga. I'm jealous. I'm jealous, nigga. I said it. I said it, nigga. I'm jealous. Mr. Fuck. Cameraman up here. Fuck nigga. Mr. Cameraman making fifty million dollars an hour. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, like, nigga. Look, nigga. Feel sorry for y'all, niggas. <laughs> yeah. I make y'all check it one day. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I go to work. Nigga, on my break, I make more money than y'all. <laughs> I'm making more than y'all niggas on my lunch break, nigga. Damn, I'm yeah. eating the cheese sandwich, making more niggas than y'all. Nigga, if I start to pick up my money, nigga, I make, I lose money by trying to pick up more money, nigga. Right, nigga, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I make more money than y'all shucking and jiving with Manfrey <laughs> in the van. The y'all niggas do work a 12 hour day. <laughs> Damn, nigga, how much you make an hour, nigga? That's it. I get that just for clocking in. <laughs> nigga, how much you make an hour, nigga? Seven dollars. That's it? Nigga, I get that just for signing my name on a piece of paper, nigga. Matter of fact, nigga. Come on, motherfucking money, nigga. I just made your check, nigga. Right, nigga. <laughs> nigga, what? How much your check be? Four oh, hundred. Nigga, I'll make that in one day, nigga. That's like Dave. Dave was telling me, like, like Dave's supposed to record it. I was like, Dave, man, how much you make? An hour. He's like, he's like, I'll make, right. make a salary. That nigga Dave made two thousand dollars a week, dog. Two G's a week. This is he part of the family. I'm like, I'm like Dave, dog. All essence, dog. You can suck my dick, man. He count in. He part of the family. This nigga drive a pickup truck. Swear he white. Swear he a red. <laughs> I'm surprised James ain't know that. That's part of the law. When they get paid by salary, they don't get paid by hour. That's the whole point of management. Mm-hmm. No matter if the work was slow or pick up, they get paid the same. Mm -hmm. Right, like if I if I just go ahead and just say fuck it and become a uh, cause if I become a shift manager, I'm just gonna get in with Lisa Wright and they gonna make me an area manager. If I become an area well if I become a shift manager, if I'm there long enough, which I don't plan to be, if I'm there long enough as a shift manager I get a salary. I think if you a shift manager for more than a year, they give you a salary. But your salary there is some bullshit. It's like six hundred dollars a week or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit, but that's twenty four hundred dollars a month, though. That's a guarantee. Right, twenty four hundred. Working there at least. All right. You know, but I don't know. Just like this week, I got a lot of days cut this week. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to be a manager up there and shit. They only gave me like three days. I think three or four days this week I got. You a manager? Yeah. They only gave me like three or four days. They don't treat me like I'm a manager though. You would swear I was still just a regular ass employee. Like me, so hey, skip. This I'm work for the right. No, oh, at least they give you a position of authority, nigga. They be acting like I'm a manager. They don't give me no kind of authority. They be like, yep, but I still run the show. Yeah. That's the fucked up part. I still run the show. You st still responsible is what you're saying when I shit go shit. wrong. That's like that. I still run the show. It's like okay, I'll be like, blase split is going on, right? I'll be like, well, okay, they got a promotion going on or whatever. I'll be like, look, well, really. 
Y'all shouldn't have nobody on the schedule that don't know what they doing. If it's gonna be like that, you know what I'm saying? Niggas look at the schedule and shit like Davon don't need to be on the schedule. Uh, Chris don't need to be on the schedule. Courtney don't need to be on the schedule. These motherfuckers do not need to be on the schedule. Go ahead and just uh, take them off the schedule. Nigga, the next day, nigga, them motherfuckers do not be on the schedule. Nigga, come in and be like, man, look, y'all going on break. You coming over here on sad one. I'm going over there on sad two. Matter of fact, I'm about to go and do a, do a fucking survey at the store. And uh, I'll be back. That's pretty much my whole day now. If I ain't on the table, I'm doing a survey at a store. Like, man, I'm going to do a survey at a store. I'll be back. It's time for me to take my tour. Go around with a clipboard. Looking at nothing. I got a midget, a pregnant girl, and this bitch that just don't know what the fuck she doing. At least you ain't got four retarded motherfuckers at your job. <laughs> I got four retarded motherfuckers, and they all work the same day, every time. <laughs> I'll tell you about the and they work on the And they work on the grill with me. The midget constantly talking dumb shit to me. Okay, at least they... <laughs> But at least he Damn, confident. Like at least he confident. See, it's shit, oompa loompa. It's These shit. niggas can't make double Candy. cheeseburgers. Man. These niggas can't make double cheeseburgers in 10 seconds. Uh, it will not take more than 10 seconds to make a cheeseburger. Ketchup, mustard, onions, pickles. That's it. Shit, nuggets take, what, two seconds, nigga? What's so hard about that? One, These niggas, two, nigga, these niggas five, take one, forever. Two, no, I'm talking about, five. okay, the timer. When you come through drive through right, it's a timer. You got... 150 seconds before the timer go off. 150 seconds, that's two two minutes and what? Two 30 minutes seconds. And 30 seconds, yeah. So, okay. 2.30. Bam. You get in, uh, you get in the drive-thru, take your 10 seconds, take your order, right? Still got mint, two minutes and shit, blase, split seconds or whatever. So, you get up to the window. Still got another minute and a half. Whatever, minute and a half, I'll say, give or take, all right? Because you might have took you a while to get your money. All this time, however, you might have ordered, say you ordered something like a Big Mac and a quarter pounder with cheese, right? It's two sandwiches. The average person that's actually confident that know what the fuck they're doing, because working at a McDonald's is not brain surgery, a confident motherfucker can make a sandwich in about yeah, 10 to 15 seconds. Though, but it only takes 10 to 15 seconds. Most sandwiches consist of the same things. Ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles. Yeah, average sandwich. So you only got premium shit. Got okay, premium what's so hard about a premium chicken sandwich? Mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, chicken. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what the fuck is so hard about that? But look, call it a day. Okay. A Big Mac take, I say it might take a little bit longer, so it'll take a full 15 seconds because it's, you know what I'm saying, you got to do the sliding over or the bun and all that bullshit. It don't take me that long. It'll take me, I say, five seconds to make a sandwich, you right? Know, make, you know, make McDonald's so easy on like Burger King because you know how Burger King was like, nigga, I want no pickles. I want exactly one tomato on that shit. Cut it in half, a little bit of mayo. But McDonald's, nigga, you can fuck that shit up, nigga. You, can you fuck it up at right? Burger King. It's all on your level of caring. And since I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck what they ask for. They ask for a sandwich without pickles. I bet you pickles is on that bitch. If I'm working there, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do not give a fuck. Your problems is not my concern. Your allergies is not my concern. Bitch, if you was that allergic to shit, you wouldn't eat fast food. Because if you know, like anybody else, you know that your hands cross-contaminate everything. Because you grab pickles, put it on there. You grab onions, put it on there. If you're allergic to onions or pickles, why the fuck you come to a fast food restaurant knowing people handling onions and shit with their gloves? They gonna stop and change gloves just for you? No, bitch, they're going to keep on making the sandwiches and that onion juice and pickle juice will be all over your sandwich so you're going to still have an allergic reaction. So what the fuck is the point? Exactly. What the fuck is the point? Ooh, that look like a problem. But anyway, so it takes about 15 seconds for the Big Mac, right? These incompetent motherfuckers, if it's two of them on the same side, the timer is going to go off automatically. Automatically. One nigga be sitting there like, damn, and what they, all going in sound? Ketchup, mustard, and you what got else? Helping you. Burger King, you the only man back there. Like ketchup, mustard, okay. Uh, the onions, the pickles. Nigga, I'm talking about these motherfuckers get to the point where the timer is going off. I'm talking about we be on 250 seconds, 300 seconds. These motherfuckers are still making two sandwiches. Two fucking sandwiches, dog. Big Mac and a quarter pounder with cheese. That's Them better be the perfect burger somebody ever had. And they be fucked up. Don't even be made right. I be like, oh, what the fuck, man? Then they be yelling back at me. Talking about, what the hell? Yeah, I died in the grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the orders up. Right. Yeah, 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 we need the bottles up. Right. 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 Right.
give a fuck about this job, and I don't give a fuck about you. So if you say the wrong thing to me, I'm liable to beat your ass, just so you know. And I don't give a fuck that you a girl, because I fight women too, bitch. I will beat the shit out of a broad. Not give a fuck. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Motherfucker. Fuck around with me. I treat all bras like bustos. All oh, bumps like cussos. Da, 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 so da, my da, da. with liquid crack. Cause that's yeah, my new hustle. So. The liquid crack, nigga. My flows come like water and they addicted as fuck. Woo, look at him. Got that cockiness swaying all off of Ah, ha, ha. I'm the man in my job, so they fire me. They doing me a favor, man. Cause I do too. I work. I'm just tired. I'm not tired of work. I'm just tired of working so hard, man. Cause all these other niggas just don't know what they do. We was like, we on the battlefield. Everybody's like, oh, nigga, damn, what we gonna do, nigga? They shooting shit, nigga. They shoot. I'm the only motherfucker like, nigga, gotta help me. Nigga, get these niggas, nigga. They get your, give me your gun. I know what you doing, nigga. Shoot these motherfuckers, nigga. It's like I'm escorting the whole damn platoon to the rendezvous point where everybody was like, damn nigga, they shooting shit. I got 1,500 other niggas shooting at me. I'm the only one just pop, pop, pop. And I kill them all. And they're like, damn nigga, how you do that nigga? Like I said, I'm not tired of work. I'm just tired of working so damn hard, man. Every time shit go wrong. Well, coordinator James said, uh. I'm like, coordinator James said, damn thing about none of that shit. <clears throat> Coordinator James just said, just stay there. And I don't even ask him to move, I just say, stay right there. I say, don't even move, just stay on one register. Don't go do dumbass price checks, because you're going to mess it up. Just stay in one spot, just bad. Right, now that they, they, they find out I'm about to quit, right? So now, they finally trying to give me the shit that I want. Like, initially, when I first came there, I wanted to be maintenance, because maintenance make like $8 an hour or whatever. Well, seven seventy five. Right, but it's like after 90 days, you automatically get a raise, because you're doing maintenance. Oh. All the night maintenance person do is mop and sweep and shit, right? That's what I wanted to do. But they put me on the grill and shit because I worked at the McDonald's before. Well, now that they found out I'm about to quit, they all like, you want to go to maintenance? Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, not really. I don't really want it no more now. I'm going to take it just for the extra pay. But now pay raises coming around and shit. I don't know how often they give you raises at your job, but they get raises twice a year, right? Like earlier in the year, back in June, they gave me a raise, right? But they didn't give me my full raise. So I was supposed to get a 50 cent raise. They only gave me 15. So. Pimp, pimp. So this time, they come around. I'm supposed to get a full dollar, right? They was like, well, uh, we did our calculations. And we were supposed to give you an extra 35 cents. So we could give you a dollar 35 for this raise. This, this, that, right? I could have told you that. Right. I'm like, I knew I was supposed to get 50 cents. Y'all knew I was supposed to get 50 cents. What's the point now? I'm about to quit. Now ain't no point of giving me a raise. Why are you trying to hold me and shit? You know what I'm saying? What's the point of giving me close to $8 an hour now and I'm about to quit? Do you can pay me a couple more checks so I can quit. So you can go back to paying them niggas $4.50 an hour. Whatever they paying them young niggas now. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm too damn old to be. Plus, I'm too damn old to be working at a motherfucking McDonald's anyway. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that I look down on that shit. Cause I'm a nigga working. I look down on that shit. Like nigga, what? You work where, motherfucker? At a fucking McDonald's? What? Nigga, what? I understand that a paycheck is a paycheck and everything, but yet and still, I still look down on that shit. Cause I'd rather be selling dope, personally. I just can't take the risk right now of going to jail. That's the only reason I ain't selling that. I can't take the risk of going to jail. I ain't had shit to do with one to turn my life around. Cause I don't give a fuck about my life as long as I'm paid. I don't give a fuck, okay? Fuck all that. If you don't give a fuck so much, why don't you go and hit these shows, Nick? <sighs> nigga, I gotta don't find a hit this. first. Oh, man, you got hits, Nick. How you perform that shit? Perform your track. My first, like my last, and my last, like my first, and do that shit. I got niggas out there slashing my tires, listening to my CD, like damn, this nigga is jamming, nigga. Right, I write. This nigga is jamming. That's life, like. Personally, I just want to be comfortable. I don't know, man. Stay out the front of their outfits. Well protected. Drugs, all the way into that belly. Or be prepared to spend a lot of money. I just want a little breaking, like, damn. I don't need shit to be perfect. Just help me get across the damn bridge, nigga. Damn. 
the side of the side of it. And they don't need to complain about shit because it ain't going to make it better. Get shot once, get shot again, keep getting up. Keep catching yourself up. Until maybe one day you have enough padding on that you won't get shot. That's all it's right there. I don't know. Things gonna happen. It's just how it, it ain't. It, I said it in the Book of Kings, the book I wrote, the Book of Kings. It ain't how you react, it's how you respond. That's what it's all about. It's not how you react, it's how you respond. So how you respond to the situation will get you through the situation. Unless you just get fucked up situation. Boy, talk about your hexes. Yo, jinxes and crazy stuff. Boy, it's been a hell of a weekend. People like slash my time, my sweet white walls. You kept them so shiny, though, man. I know, man. They took them bitches, man. Took them. I walked. Surprised they didn't take your seat covers. Yeah, I was surprised too. Well, they was about to, probably. Shit, nigga. It was on too tight, huh? They was like, damn, fuck you. My door was open. I'm like, man, these niggas trying to take it over. I'm trying to take my brand new engine. And just go joyride. Me, I'm up here. It. Right, I'm up here putting in overtime like a mud. Just so somebody can steal my wheel. <laughs> ah, life be a mother. And, and they would have stole my whip, then I wouldn't even I would quit my job. Like, Man, you could just man. What well, happened to how you react, man? You can't just quit. Well, what you gonna do, man? I ain't even paid off the engine yet. I still got like like six more payments on the engine. Six six more four hundred dollar payments on that shit, man. I would have quit my job. And I and then people would be like, man, we need our engine back. Like shit, nigga, go talk to the nigga who just started that shit, nigga. <laughs> go talk to them, cause they ain't the one who got the engine. Y'all, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I would. I would quit my job. If they would have started my car, I would be like, fuck it up. Yeah. I sure would have. Cause there ain't no need for me to even get in the Lincoln. Cause I would I would have needed the Cougar to get the Lincoln fixed, and that's how I get to work. So I wouldn't even been able to get to work. I would have been just like Kevin, just doing this all day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like playing video games. Like, yeah, I did have a life. Y'all, I ate like two cars. Y'all, sure did. Tell niggas to stop to take my shit. I want to go joy riding. <laughs> Red. Uh. <laughs> yup. Joy ride. This brand new engine, nigga. <laughs> Stabbing it. I ain't had huh? the, the tires. I just bought. The, I ain't had tires. No, I ain't even had tires a year, dog. <laughs> nice clean white walls, man. Damn. At least I got. At least D got it on tape, though. Mm. Yeah. Show to keep them tires shining. Shining white walls. Shine. Listen. Listen, look at him. He can, he can eat off them white walls. Boy, I used to keep them boys so clean. Now I got some dirty ass black walls. Missing, missing the tail light cover and shit on the whole left side. I don't even know if the junkyard gonna have it, D. I don't even think they will. Cause when we went back, man, all them coolers was messed up. They ain't had no lights. order free support. So Mr. E was like, man, water getting in the tail lights and bust. So I don't know what's gonna happen with it. gonna rain. I don't know if the lights gonna bust. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Mario, let me see me on camera, dog. Uh, Detroit 313, you know, that's the black, you know. We gave money, you know. <laughs> hey, clean up the basement, man. I ain't cleaning up nothing. Yo, you know what I'm talking about the streets. Tell them, dog. The streets, Pop nigga. My Agro we you know, popping everything, you know, nigga. You know, crazy horse to get us a rent. I don't even think I said it right, but that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, you know, I talk about. Remember, you know, I talk about 
drugs and self-respect. You goddamn right I pop a pill to keep my cock erect. <laughs> I do. <laughs> My dick, boy. It's too damn big, man. Shit. It's too damn big. It needs too much blood. Nigga. Imagine trying to get this hard, nigga. <laughs> That's too much work, nigga. That's a real yeah. man right there. Nigga, be halfway there, like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> nigga. Pop like, two. Damn, man, nigga. Like, Pop two. I had to hold that motherfucking stick it in, like, come here, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, hope that yeah, motherfucker get hard, like, <laughs> shit fall back out, like, <laughs> damn, bitch, got something for you, though. It's like spinach and Popeye. Come here, bitch. <laughs> That's what's up. Killing that hoe. Popeye's chicken. Get on a month, 20 pieces of chicken, 20 biscuits, two large size, 20.99. Come check us out. 20 so, biscuits and 20 pieces of chicken? That's what's up. I don't up. even want the chicken, nigga. I just want the biscuits. That's what's up. Nigga, just give me the biscuits, nigga. Give me 20 biscuits. And a courtesy cup of water. Damn right. Well, free to refill. Hey, yeah, that's Tweet calling, nigga. Nah, that's Tierra. Shit. Tierra calling you at 11 o'clock at night like, James, is it true SG birthday tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, bitch. Oh, what's his number? I want to call him at midnight and tell him happy birthday. <laughs> Bitch, fuck you want his number for? I want to tell him happy birthday. No, you don't, bitch. Really? You're trying to fuck that nigga, ain't you? Well, I ain't gonna have that shit. Oh, no, bitch, we drop down on that shit. Straight. Drop down on that shit, nigga. Goddamn right, I'm jealous. I got DVDs going. Uh, two for seven. You know, sometimes. I live my fun. life like hustle and flow. That's what's up. That's what it is. Ain't that what D-Man said? He said, walk out McDonald's, I have to go. Cause I live my life like hustling flow. Oh. Everybody got to have a dream. Not me. Well, I ain't got no dream. Have a dream. This is my dream right here. See that? My life as a hustler. That's my dream. That's my dream, nigga. Oh, really if money don't buy me happiness, I'ma come real close Back while I'm being real, real rich. That's right. You remember that, Jermaine? Oh, I'll get money. Uh, uh, There's another DVD right here. I come real close. my way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is, see, this is him. This is, this is the cameraman. He's going his way. My way. Mm -hmm. I thought that DVD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw in that DVD. Nigga, fuck this. Nigga, say this say bullshit. That. And we about to watch this. Yeah, I just want to see that. You just broke my you PlayStation. You know, you know, you know. I'll piss on this motherfucker. <laughs> Tinkle on it. Watch That's my tank. That's what's up.